Novara 41 vs Gerda Linux A Comprehensive Comparison First, let's talk about the base and philosophy. Novara 41 is based on Fedora 41, focusing on enhancing Fedora's robustness with additional gaming and multimedia organizations. It aims to provide a polished user-friendly experience with out-of-the-box support for proprietary drivers and codecs, making it ideal for gamers and content creators who want a Fedora base without the hassle of manual setup. Now, Garuda Linux. Garuda Linux is based on Arch Linux. Known for its rolling release model and bleeding edge software, Garuda targets users who want a visually appealing, performance optimized system with extensive customization options. It comes with multiple desktop environments and window managers pre configured, catering to both general users and gamers. Now, Let's talk about the installation and usability. Novara 41 uses the Calamaris installer, forked with the KOS Linux, which now supports offline installation and includes an on screen keyboard for accessibility. This makes Novara's installation straightforward, even for users with limited internet access during setup. Novara also removes network checks during install, simplifying the process. Now, Gerudo Linux. It also offers a user-friendly installation experience with Calamaris, but is generally considered more resource-heavy post-installation due to its default KDE Plasma configuration and additionally services running in the background. Now, let's talk about the performance and resource usage. Novara 41 focuses on stable performance with the latest Linux kernel 6.12 LTS and includes stable Vulkan drivers for improved gaming. It ships with the open source NVIDIA driver by default, which improves compatibility and system stability, especially for newer GPUs. Novara also integrates gaming centric tweaks like XPad New driver, support for Xbox Elite controllers, and enhanced AMD ROCM packages for creative applications. Now, Garuda Linux is known to be somewhat resource-heavy, consuming around 1.2 GB of RAM at ideal, and showing higher CPU usage due to multiple KVIN process running in the KDE Plasma. While it offers a visual-rich experience, this may impact performance on lower-end hardware. Now, Gaming and Multimedia Support Novara 41 excels in gaming out of the box. It includes stable Mesa and Vulkan drivers for better graphic performance, open-source NVIDIA drivers by default, with manual options for closed drivers, tools like Novara Tweak Tool to manage auto mounting, input controllers, and automatic updates. Support for Broadcam wireless drivers and improved screen recording codecs. Now, Gerudo Linux. It also targets gamers with pre installed gaming tools and drivers. But its default setup may require more tweaking to optimize resource usage. It provides a variety of desktop environments tailored for performance and aesthetics, which can appeal to gamers who want a customizable experience. Now, let's talk about the software management and updates. Novara 41 features enhanced package management tools, including seamless flatpak support with beta channel access and utilities like Novara Updater and Novara Welcome that simplify software installation and system updates. It also supports offline installation, which is a plus for users with limited connectivity. Now, Gerudo Linux. It uses Arch Pac-Man Package Manager and the Arch User Repository, which is AUR, giving 
access to the latest software but requiring more Linux knowledge. Its rolling release model means frequent updates, which can be double-edged sword for stability. Now let's talk about the user experience and community. Novara 41 is designed for users who want a Fedora-based system with gaming and multimedia enhancements without complex manual setup. Its no tracking, ad-free approach appeals to privacy-conscious users. Gerda Linux appeals to users who prefer arts flexibility and are more comfortable managing a rolling release system. It has a vibrant community but may be overwhelming for Linux beginners. So here is a summary table which I created for you. Let's go through one by one. First feature Base Nobara 41 is based on Fedora 41 and Garuda Linux is based on Arch Linux. Now the installer Nobara 41 Calamarus KOS Folk with offline mode. Garuda Linux just the Calamarus. Feature Default driver For Fedora 41, open source NVIDIA or stable Vulkan. For Arch Linux, proprietary NVIDIA which is optional and also the Vulkan. Now feature Desktop environment For Novara, KDE Plasma 6.2 and others. For Garuda Linux, multiple desktop environments and default is KDE Plasma. Now feature Resource usage on Ideal. For Novara 41, it's moderate. For Garuda Linux, it's higher, which is 1.2 GB RAM plus 17% CPU. Now, feature, which is gaming support. For Novara 41, strong with XPad Neo broadcam drivers. Now, for Garuda Linux, it's strong but may need tweaking. Now, let's talk about the feature, which is package management. DNF plus Flatpak with GUI tools for Novara 41. And for Garuda Linux, it's Pacman plus AUR. Next feature is the update model. Fixed release. For Fedora based. For Garuda Linux, it is rolling release. And feature for the next one is target audience. For Novara 41, it's gamers, Fedora fans, privacy focused. And for Gerudo Linux, power users and arts enthusiasts. And final one, which is accessibility features. For Novara 41, on screen keyboard and offline install. And for the Gerudo Linux, it's just the standard. So that was the some table which I created. And now let's talk about the final thing, which is conclusion. Novara 41 is a great choice for users who want a Fedora based stable and gaming optimized Linux distro with easy installation and out of the box support for modern hardware and gaming peripherals. Its focus on usability and privacy makes it appealing to gamers and content creators alike. On the other hand, Garuda Linux offers a powerful, visually appealing arch based experience with cutting edge software and customization options but at the cost of higher resource usage and steeper learning curve. Choosing between them depends on whether the viewer prefers the stability and ease of Fedora's which is Novara 41 or the flexibility and rolling updates on Arch which is Gerudo Linux. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.